Welcome back to the last chance Germany has to win World War I. This is Gamer1745, and of course we're playing Strategic Command World War I. So, I sort of kind of thought we were near ready to end this turn, I think. It's been a little gap since I last played this. And look sort of up here, and I thought maybe, you know... But we have 10 shells in this, so we're going to see what we can do with pounding this. Now the other guy here, 9 shells. But see, I'm just kind of thinking, yeah, I just want to, if we can, wreck 1 or 2 other divisions here. Mm, that would be that okay we have nine shells here we can potentially hit this division from with four infantry units i mean six infantry units we're there that's max four don't know how many it's going to take but i'd rather fully take out one than shall we say half take out two Keep looking down at the morale. Now there's good reason to save. Okay, yeah, there's no, I've probably been shot one time too many. Okay, now here, because we could have maybe taken out here. Now this is just a detachment and that's just a detachment as well. So we're going to... Well, no, we're going to use this. Right, okay, this. Yeah, I fired one time too many, I think. I did, do think we needed to fire a few times there. Okay, I think we're going to, well, we're going to try this much. Oh, um... Attack bombers. These ground attack bombers. Fighters. Recon bombers. Okay, should be using those instead. Or it's at first. Okay, so spotted that unit back there. And I wasn't in either of these cases really thinking I was <coughs> going to be making a breakthrough, but um, Okay, and there we still have two more shells here. Oh, well, we may not even need that. Shift that for that and that. Okay, it's always better to save the shells. Okay, yeah, this is this has been a good plan. I could have even used that. Um, takes all the action points, not all the action points. Now, I don't know that we need to... I don't know if they had extra action points to attack again or not. Okay. No. Let's see if we can take this detachment out. Let's look. Okay, yeah, I think we can save the shells. They are defensive. Sort of kind of forgot that was there, but yeah. Mm, we still have that one that can be switched up. 
I think we're going to fire one more. Should have fired at least one more. Let's swap this out. Well, we had a twenty nine per cent morale. It doesn't look like I'm going to totally get that detachment. No, oh well. But we took out a couple down there while a detachment and a core. It just, I don't want them to be feeling that they can just send in, you know, large reinforcements down here. These two will probably get reinforced up to full strength and whatnot, but I'm definitely looking at now here, I don't know if it's worth a shell or two. Six shells, four shells, two shells. Not perfect by any means. Okay, but we can, of course, max these guys out. Because, yes, obviously the goal is to take territory, but we can do it partially to some degree, I should say by simply destroying their forces instead of just pushing into here. Um, I don't know if we should move some of this artillery park down here. Um, Okay, I think after that reasonable success up there. Watching the morale level. Let's see if we get it down to in the 50s. What does that do for our chances of... Success. Okay, and I guess finally taking that down. Make them feel threatened down here as well. Because we, we don't want them concentrating their forces. They should be feeling some somewhat threatened down here. Maybe not overly much, you know, this means, so what if we, well, there's national morale objective there, but they could probably hold that fort out and it would take a lot to surround it. Not that that's undoable, but we'd have to have a lot more forces, but just make them a little nervous down there. Make them a little nervous here. Um, because we could obviously like hit that with five units. I just don't know that 
that is worth it. How many actual points they have four, so they could. I actually sort of want them to have that bulge that they feel that they gotta like hold it. Because again, we can they can move in there and slam it. So I sort of want them to have a bulge there. Okay, let's let's look at purchasing. Um we will, I didn't look around, we will be getting in July, August some Austrian um support. Now I think these heavy bombers, even if I max them out here, heavy bombers too, just like resource bombing, um, demoralization, don't know if that's going to work for um, frontline units so much. So I think we're going to look here, um, get the range up. 150 just um maybe you know going after their bombers don't know what na stands for that it's getting bonuses there on um just do we have a fair amount so we're gonna purchase that and we might as well get them going in cavalry divisions i also noticed that it um gets a little bit of light armor and whatnot for attack values so or attack values on light armor and tanks and whatnot so it's eh, not so terrible for do we know it's 270 but we'll go with that you know regular division again by the time we get that up there it's also 270 better um yeah i think we'll purchase that just get them into the queue uh Just looking to see if there's anything in here. So I don't think any of this, the general settings will tell me what units not just can be, re or in the sense that they could have more reinforcements added to them, but can be reinforced this time, meaning they haven't spent any action units. So I think that's about it. Unfortunately, we didn't take down that one. But general success, I would say. Research. Much of this is either already being researched. Deer of defense. Yeah, I don't think we need to do that right now. So let's let the Entente have their turn. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Yes, okay, expected about that. Good, spider to the fly, come into my nest, come into my web. Said pull back out of there. Mm. Yeah, reinforcing that's also expected. Might not be able to fully take it down now, but hey. Good job, interceptors. turn you know by all this doesn't have as much organization i don't quite know how much but it does recover a bunch but i don't know well, the american artillery getting into it don't know how really useful it is if you're gonna artillery and not attack now maybe they're just artillery thinking that well and it's checking out to see if any of those attacks would be worthwhile and finding them not We'll 
Calpari is supposed to be there for fast moving into the breach, but I think it's going to end up sort of backfiring on them. Oh, no, they're pulling back. Okay, that's smart, actually. Keeping the line there with our with Calpari. Now, they should have maybe, instead of moving it up and moving back, move to where, well, maybe they'll have the extra points to dig in. That would be... Okay, German Paris gun bombards French capital from near Lille. Yeah. And we're spotting some air units, but we're going to have range, so... Rain, I said. I'd say that right. So air units will not be effective this turn. Hmm. Okay. Don't know how well our attacks are going to be effective. Okay, they can basically blot out a unit there. Okay, well. What point does it become us going into their, their web? Okay, well, they're just going to get fully reinforced. You're down to 48. Morale. Then we save the shells to be able to bombard. Okay, we're going to move you to here, because that way they'll be able to still shell there if we need to next turn. We can also shell these other two positions and not just that one. Now, oh, yes, we have the points and we will use them to get them up to strength. Now down here though. Yeah, I think this is useful. Don't know if the rain mud slows down the attack, obviously. I don't know if the rain helps the attacker or the defender. I could see it sort of kind of argued either way. Okay, I think we're going to save shells and spend lives. I didn't want because I figured if I moved to there, that is just becoming, you know, the fly into the web. Here we can't dig, and it couldn't dig in. And here we can't dig in, but they've got to move a lot more forces, either off of here, to, off of this point, or somewhere else to attack there. Not that they won't attack there, not that they can't destroy that unit potentially, but it's going to maybe cost them some other places here.
And no, I'm not going to move in there to get into their trap. I'll let that division survive. Don't need to trade division for division. Okay, they can move to here. Which would next turn possibly let them shoot up there. Okay, let's look at... Supply next turn four. Okay, so they'll be able to keep supply if they come here. Let's entrench them. We may move the artillery up. We may just use the artillery up to here to mess with that. They are not good enough supply to get reinforcements. Well, they're learning here a bit, maybe. Don't know if an AI can learn, or if it's just wishing it could fill in the units, but don't have them. That's the other very real possibility. Okay, well, now here, those aren't dug in, so they're going to take lots of casualties. Um, Okay. Shattered, very good. I forgot to attack there last turn, didn't I? Damn. I didn't. They did attack, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, that division there. Well. Do we want to use the artillery here or?
don't think we could afford to move up there. And I don't think, yeah, we can't use any air operations. So let's pound this. Well, yeah, the Americans, the doughboys. These guys dug in, yeah. Just wondering whether I can or should. I should have maybe used that to attack there. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have done that better because that could have, yeah, that would have been damn. Okay, we make mistakes. Okay, I think, I think these guys make their attack. I know they're going to be way beat up after the attack, but hopefully they'll do good. Fully take out the division, I want to do that. just to shatter this thing. Nope. But that was pretty good pounding. These guys, yeah, they're fully used up their shells. Damn. Couldn't fully bring it down.
that well. That's the last unit there. Five morale, twenty one morale. And no, it's safe. I figured it was, but Okay, well Move you in an and entrench. You can reinforce. You can come up with good coverage. This, now that they have four units running, they can't entrench one of these sites. So they will be, if they stay there, they will be taken out at hopefully very low cost. They move, they can't reinforce. Well, I'm just checking these. I don't think there's much we can do effectively there. I'm not pushing as deep or well, not in as I would like, but we are pushing. And we're reinforcing. And we're killing units. That, oh. That's right, I wanted to swap that out. So that way he's protected and he's reinforced. And don't know if they should allow so much reinforcing, and I don't know how they would get rid of it. You know, when the turn is sort of two weeks, I can see much more the idea that, hey, yeah, you haven't destroyed this core, which is what most of the units are in strategic command, um, their primary unit uh, size is a core. And so I, I get the, shall we say, better idea of um, And even there, I would still probably max it out to 50% um, reinforcements. So meaning you can, if you just one factor, you can't fully, re, you can't fully heal it or something like that. Um, so it would be, you know, so if you pat, yeah, that's what I would do. And I know I do have a bit of a voice, but and I don't know how hard it is to do with their engine, but if more people come up with this idea and poke them on this, for standard and maybe this scale of game, I would have, of the total, you know, generally 10 strength unit, um, you can't reinforce more than five in one turn. So that way, if we start out and we have a full 10 strength unit and we pound it down to like just one factor, because so many times playing Strategic Command World War II, and I like, oh yeah, I get that, that unit on um, Cyprus, that you know, it still bothers the hell out of me in that game. Um, get it down to like one or two factors, then boop, it's back up to, and even if it can't go to full 10 just because of supply and whatever, it's back up to eight again. And then I do everything, pound it down. Oh, it's just down at one or two factors. I boop, back up to whatever. Just make it so that you can't fully reinforce everything so you can grind down turn after turn to some degree. And I think that would work better here because, yeah, units are something that you can even daily throw in replacements, but I think it's a little overdone here, especially on the every couple of day scale that this is supposed to be. Mm. 
Now, if we come to here, well, we'll just come to there. Because they may come after that, and well, okay, but then we may move up and hammer. Well, let's. We can still entrench. Uh, I think I want to entrench that way. Yeah. Okay, so if they do come here, he's unentrenched, but he's entrenched, and so they, well, depending on how hard they hit, they would have units sitting here in this. Yeah, I know they have this other road of supply and secondary supply up there, so we're not really, that's one of the reasons I didn't go, hey, let's, because one of the um, victory sort of objectives is taking out where done, is even if I did fully cut that off, then I still have to reduce the, the fortress here. They do have supply, can't just starve them out, if you will. Okay, well, now let's think. I've mostly got the units that I can reinforced. That one I'm a little worried about, but not too worried. I mean, they could take it out if they really really had a mind to. And I could hit it with four infantry units and however many artillery shells. Okay. All right, let's end the turn. No, 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 we want to purchase. Oh, yes, we want to purchase, okay. There we go. Got a lot coming. Well, Navy launches a second raid on Austin. Okay, Treaty of Bucharest, Romania withdraws from the war. Germany collects, okay, good. Yeah, I'm sure that Austin help, helps them a little bit, but yeah. And they're moving detachments into the front line. I'm seeing that down. Uh, I was going to point with my finger, but you can't see that. So right there above the swirly ball thing. Okay. It's for their turn. They're, well, they're cleared up, but I have fighters. Full strength. Ready to let me move the Marines in there. Yeah, okay, lose an MPP. See, I don't even know that, you know, between the cost of replacing the, you know, doing replacements and whatnot, if those MPPs are even worth damaging. Worth the damage, worth the operations. We have more tanks coming. And two would be really helpful. Because we can, you know, we almost took out a cavalry division with one shot. With two of them and an infantry unit to back each one up, an infantry division. That might be able to each take out a core per turn and push in deeper. Yes, damage from, and now we have mud. They didn't have mud, we have mud, oh good. Okay, well, seeing the divisions down here definitely makes me think that we're not gonna push very far, but also makes me hopeful that yeah, well, we might push here now. 
that their their lines are breaking. Ah, oh, they are still here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they're still alive. Surprisingly, I think, but okay. Happily. No, we're not going to push. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It's clicking. Well, let's say no 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 that would have been another save i guess go back to the turn save but um let's continue this here well actually we're going to end the episode here i think um come back next time for more exciting world war one um battles really do appreciate all you watching and getting this far in see you next time and